Okay, this is coming down the road once you take a right or left on the road where Waffle House is. And you come down and you will, after you make a turn or two, you'll see the sign. It's hard to see in the dark, you'll miss it. And you'll pull in here. You will pull over to the side right here and then walk across to the office slash game room and check in there. The pool is right next to the office slash common area. It's a small pool like you would have in your backyard, but this is a small park. There are three doors. The one all the way over to the right is the office where you check in. The middle one is going into the game room, common room, and the last one, I have no idea where it goes. What's in there? And then there's a door here that you can go to the laundry room or you can just walk around from your RV up here. It's all coins, $1.75 to wash. There are three washers. No, no card. Yeah, yeah, no card. And there are four dryers. Yeah, it's $1.50 to dry. It's only a laundry facility. Yes, this is the only laundry facility on the premises. It's not a very big park. So that's why it's always full of hard to get reservations here because it's not very big. They have 91 sites. Oh, okay. They uh, across from where you check in, there's the miniature golf. And then there's like a green pavilion that you can go into. It's covered. There's benches in there. The, the right of it is where the employees can stay. All right, so this is the bathrooms towards the middle to the back of the park. And so I've used it. The, um, the water pressure is really good. And it's always been really clean. The thing I don't like about the shower part is that it's all curtains and when you have the shower on I don't know if it'll do it but when you have the shower on the curtain just blows out like this and so does the shower curtain so I wish they had a door here instead of a curtain but I love that they have the shelf and a lot of places to put your things and the bench easy to adjust the water and everything this I mean I don't mind the inside blowing but the outside when you're in here it blows and you don't feel very like it's very private all right this is um, towards the back of the campsite there's a trail back here and you can walk around it it's um, there's I guess a little pond or lake back there and there's gators that's in them so when you're walking that trail be careful and the sides you can see that you can fit a big bus in them but it's still kind of tight and you're really close to each other like I said it's a small park all right this is a site next to us and it's all pull through sites there's no back end, so that's good. Um, so that's what I'm saying. The sides are a good size, but they're still kind of tight when you're trying to get out. Uh, they, and one of the reasons because they've had some trees 
uh, cut down and they're waiting for the people to come back and remove the stumps because a lot of people were having trouble like if they want to turn this bus this way it's it's a tight turn because these trees are actually closer than what they look on the camera so and plus if there are RVs in here they would have a huge problem trying to make that turn but somebody has hit the stump trying to get out so as soon as they can come back and remove these stumps I think it'll make it a little bit easier but right now um, I guess it's not bad getting out of here I mean getting in like I said is easy getting out is different story we're here in Yemasi during Halloween time I mean it's like a week away from to Halloween uh, we haven't had any problems with power or water pressure yeah we haven't even had to put our awning out it's nice and shady but it's comfortable outside it's been good I mean, yeah, it is a nice little getaway place. Um, I don't know. Oh, the internet hasn't been bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Yeah. It's in between. Yeah. At times it's like really, really good, and then at times it's okay. Cell service is fine, you know. Haven't had any problems with cell service. But yeah, I can't complain about this place because it's nice as far as uh, getting away and being quiet and the sights being leveled. Uh, it sucks that everything's far. Like the grocery store, the closest one's like 15 miles, Harvey's. But we're not going to go back there. I didn't like that place too much. Super yeah, they are higher. Yeah. Their stuff's higher than Kroger's. Kroger's is like 30 minutes away, maybe a little longer, but around Kroger's in Bluffton, there's a lot of places to eat and shop and, um, you know, and places where you can buy seafood and all that. So, fresh seafood. yeah, fresh seafood. So we would rather go out there to grocery shop and gas is high around here um, but you have to go I think like exit yeah yeah 21 or 22 to really get cheaper gas um, Savannah Georgia is like an hour away from here and where else did we go? Forest Gump. <laughs> uh, a few sites.